What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, Libra, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is week four's reading for Sun Libra. This covers any if you have Libra in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, I got one channeled in as I was meditating on your energy. And I heard um, uh, a funeral is what I heard, a funeral. So you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, um, a funeral. So, um, you know, it could be you attending a funeral, you planning a funeral, you could be the funeral director, or it could be somebody you're connected to is planning a funeral. They're the funeral director. They're going to a funeral. Um, you plug it in however it resonates. Some kind of funeral energy if that resonates for you. And a family secret plan to try to incorporate a toxic Scorpio back into a Leo's life is about to backfire in a huge way. A particular Libra is involved, heavily involved with this, and another Libra is about to find this out. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, uh, apparently, a very toxic family's plan to incorporate, I heard, a very toxic Scorpio um, back into a Leo's life um, is about to backfire. Um, apparently, one toxic Libra is was involved with this plan to incorporate this toxic Scorpio back into this Libra, um, sorry, this Leo's life. And, um, and then another Libra, so two separate Libra energies. So, one toxic Libra was incorporated in trying to basically set this Leo up to incorporate this toxic Scorpio back into their life, into this Leo's life. Obviously, they don't want well for this uh, Leo, obviously. But another Libra, whoever the, uh, this other Libra is, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, I heard is about to find out about this plan of this toxic Libra and other people, this toxic Libra and their family, apparently, trying to intentionally implant a toxic Scorpio into a Leo's life. Um, if that makes sense. So I feel for at least one of you guys, you are the Libra on the outskirts about to find out about this toxic family, this toxic Leo, and these people trying to intentionally implant a toxic Scorpio into a Leo's life. I feel you are this person for some, and for some, you are the toxic Libra in this toxic family trying to implant a toxic Scorpio into a Leo's life. Um, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling the Leo is an outcast of this toxic family. They're like black sheep outcast energy, but they've done it to themselves because they don't want to be in the middle of toxicity. Um, and the, this Libra is probably like the head or like a ringleader in this toxic family. And they're trying to intentionally implant this toxic Scorpio in to probably make this Leo go down. Is what I'm feeling. So you either are on this spectrum or you are the toxic Leo, uh, Libra. However that resonates for you, Libra. Um, but I heard it's, it's about to backfire. So, you know, everybody has three wheels. So I'm assuming the Leo is probably going to be like, no, um, they're, I'm sure they probably, some of these Leos probably know about their past toxicity and they're just automatically going to be no. Some they might call the police on the Scorpio. Some, it might not even get as far as that. Maybe the Scorpio tries to contact through text or messenger or call and they don't even answer the phone. If they try to come to the house, they may call the police. Or not answer the door. How that resonates. Knight of Cups upright. King of Pentacles upright. Four of Cups upright. A particular Libra is about to get go on a very romantic date soon. Very romantic. Some, it's a vacation. Well-deserved vacation. Okay, so you, well, that's great. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. 
Uh, so for some of you guys, you're about to go on a wonderful vacation. For some, congrats to you. For some, you're about to go on a romantic date. Ooh la la, just saying, just saying. I've been single a long time. So um, I haven't been on a romantic date in a long time. I haven't even been on a date in a long time. So congrats to whoever this is for. So whoever you're going on the romantic date with, whether it's a partner or you're just dating or um, a spouse, they're very giving, loving, and kind towards you. They have money, stable, grounded, reliable, dependable. And this is the vacation energy. You're, I think you feel you're going to spend money on it or money has been spent on it, whether you spend it or somebody else spent it. Um, and you're really spending good money on the vacation to enjoy yourself. And you're going to relax and enjoy yourself. Okay. A very toxic Libra energy is about to get the shock of a lifetime. Indictment energy. Okay, wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Heard a very toxic Libra is about to get the shock of their life. Indictment energy. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of indictment energy. That's a very toxic Libra. It could be masculine or feminine. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, or Jupiter. But um, they're very toxic, and they're about to get some kind of indictment energy. However, that resonates. It's uh, I looked up indictment. It's like charges, charges brought against you for some kind of crime, like serious crimes, um, like serious crime energy. I wonder if it's Secret Seven Alabama. I hope it is. Just saying. Ten of Cups reversed. Four of Wands reversed. A particular Gemini is about to be very, very, very angry at a Libra. Very angry. They're not going to like upcoming series of chain events. But this Libra does not care. For some, it is legal for some it is personal text messages regarding a third party situation drama there libra separating themselves okay so you plug it in how it resonates um if that resonates for you a, a particular gemini so gemini energy they have gemini and their sun moon rising venus fourth moon haber jupiter you plug it in how it resonates but a Gemini is not going to like, um, apparently, what you say, Libra, if this resonates with you. Now, you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. Um, some of you guys, it's some kind of legal with this um, with this Gemini. So, you could be bringing some kind of legal action upon the Gemini, if that resonates with you. Or, you could be working the legal sector, and things don't go the Gemini's way. Or... Um, or you, or yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You're either bringing some kind of action against the Gemini legally, or you work in the legal sector and you're delivering some kind of news to this Gemini and they don't like it. However, that resonates. I hope they're going to be very pissed. That's for situation A. Situation B, if you resonate, it's on the personal realm with this Gemini. And there was some kind of third party energy revolving a Gemini. Um, whether they were the third party, you were the third party or whatever. Um, but I heard it's some kind of personal text message you're about to send this Gemini. Um, it sounds like breaking things off because it was a bunch of freaking drama and I heard they're basically going to get pissed. So you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, leaves. Ten of Cups reversed, Four of Wands reversed. A very significant 
visit from Child Protective Services will be had soon. For some, this Libra it will be the one visiting the home. For some, they will be the ones calling CPS. Oh my God. Whoa, so you plug it in how it resonates. Drugs in the home. Okay, I just heard drugs in the home. My God, that's, that's terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates with you, you're either on two different spectrums, it sounds like. You're either the CPS worker about to visit this home that has drugs in the home and children, apparently. We have drugs and children in the home. I heard CPS, which is Child Protective Services. Um, or situation two, you are the one calling Child Protective Services because you know of this um, home that has drugs in the home and you're about to call. They have drugs and children in the home. So, Ten of Cups reverse, no happiness in the family situation because there's drugs in the home. Four of Wands reverse, unhappy family situation because there's drugs in the home with children. Um, that's terrible. That is terrible. So, for one, you, one of you guys, I feel you are the child protective services service worker going into this home uh, with his children and drugs and etc. And then the other end spectrum is you are the one calling child protective services to report this. However, that resonates. This person has stolen money. And it will be reported to. Oh, God. Okay, I heard this person has stolen money and it will be reported to. So maybe for situation two, Libra, the one that's about to report the drugs in the home with the children, um, I, I, feel, I feel for a lot of you guys that that resonates with you. You know about the stolen money too, and you're about to report that as well, as long as, the, as, long, as well as the drugs in the home. That's what I'm feeling. Um, but I mean, they're 10 of cups reverse and four of wands reverse. So I mean, there's no happiness in the home, probably because the drug user puts their own selfish need, i.e. their drug use over their children. And then it causes an unstable, unbalanced hap um, home life. They probably don't pay their bills. They probably don't, um, you know, buy coats for their children or food for their children um, because they're spending all their money on drugs, probably. But you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates. Spirit messages you have a sign of Lisa. Eight of Pentacles upright, the full upright. A very significant warehouse is about to be exposed soon that traffics human traffics. One Libra, it will be very integral in exposing this warehouse. It will really bump up your career in a huge way. Another Libra is in a toxic family dynamic and they are part of the human trafficking and they will be exposed. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Freemason energy. I got Freemason energy in the tournament reading too. A lot, I feel a lot of Freemasons watch my videos. I'm just saying for real, for real. Um, I heard Freemason energy, so I heard that in the forces too. So I feel at least two people in the universe are Freemasons that watch my videos. Um, at least one Torn and one Libran. Just saying, uh, it could be more. Well, we you know we have about eighty nine hundred people on my um, on my channel now, so it could really be anybody. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, but okay, so wow, this is big. So I heard a significant warehouse. There's a toxic family that apparently human traffics people. Um, but there's one Libra that sounds like that's about to help expose this toxic family and this human trafficking operation ordeal, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I feel you're on the light side. You might be a Freemason. You may not be. I don't know. Um, you can be masculine or femme. I feel you might be a police officer, investigator, um, or something of that nature, I, or governmental entity, agency energy, like marshals, feds, CIA or something of that nature. Um, 
someone with some kind of authority and clearance to do this is what I'm saying. That's why I say those things. It could be something else that I'm not aware of, but that's what I'm feeling for um, at least one of you guys. Um, the one that's about to help expose this toxic family with the human trafficking that apparently they have this warehouse and that's how they're shipping these people in and out. Um, and I did several readings. Y'all can go back and check if this resonates with you. If you are this person, I did some readings, I think like a week ago on some human trafficking, uh, toxic family. I don't know if it's a toxic family, but something like human trafficking about to be exposed that somebody tried to tra human traffic their own family members and it backfired on them basically was that reading, but you're welcome to go back and check it if you want. But, but there's one about, it's going to make their career grow up. They're about to expose this it's about to make their career grow up in a very positive way. Some kind of warehouse. This family, toxic family owns or rents or something that they're doing this, performing this um, human trafficking operation out of. But I think you're about to get information or wind of this, or you already know the information or already gotten wind. How that resonates, but it sounds like you're about to move in. But the second Libra, if this resonates, they're a toxic Libra in this toxic family dynamic. And it sounds like when this other Libra exposes and bust this human trafficking realm in this warehouse, it's going to expose this toxic Libra and this toxic family dynamic that basically has been the toxic family has a Libra, a toxic Libra in it, and they have put together this human trafficking operation in this warehouse. And that's how they've been shipping all these people in and out. Oh my God, that's huge. Let me know. Let me know, you guys. Let me know. I would love to know. Holy crap. My God. Eight of Pentacles upright, the full upright. Someone has finally been saving their money and they are very, very happy. Some teachers, some health care, some food service. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, you, this is a good one too. So whoever this resonates with, you've been saving your money and you, you it makes you very happy to save your money. So you've been... Um, putting in proper saving um, techniques and really have been um, really saving your money in a very proper way. Um, you've been probably, you know, going without the luxury items and um, you really know how to manage your money better now. Needs versus wants. It's absolutely needs versus wants. Absolutely freaking lutely all day long. I've told my kids that for years and years and years. I've been a single mom for a long, long time. And trust me, um, we have need for need versus wants it uh, for a long, long time because that's what, you know, I'd rather buy my, would I rather buy my child a coat or would I rather go get me a Starbucks? I'd much rather buy my child a coat. You see what I'm saying? So, um, so definitely needs versus wants, but you're basically doing this and this is uh, paying off for you. Um, little by little, but it is coming. It's starting to pay off. Okay, I heard little by little, but it's coming. It's starting to pay off. So that's awesome. So you're saying you're taking those steps: need versus wants, priorities. You're you're not giving into the selfish needs and wants and qualms and going out and getting three Starbucks a day. And you know you're saving that money to buy your child a coat or you a coat or what have you. Um, and it's starting to pay off. So that's wonderful. So for some of you, you're in healthcare. For some, it's food service, and for some, it is um, what was the other one? Healthcare, food service, and there was another one. You'll have to go back and check it. I forget the other one. Some banking and mortgage lending. Okay, some bank banking and some mortgage mortgage lending. So eight of pentacles upright. This is you saving money. Positive eight, positive ten. I heard it's coming little by little, and it sounds like it is because you're positive eight, positive ten. So you you're safe. You've got probably a nice little hefty savings account right now. You go with your bad self. Full upright, fearlessness, and freedom. Um, money, fearlessness, and freedom. You go with your bad self. 
Uh, me and my kids have been through some very, very, very hard times financially. I just want to say this little tidbit. We've been through some very, very, very hard times financially in our life. We have. But I'm very, very good at saving money um, and making little out of nothing. Um, and it's got us through some really hard times. I'm proud to say we've never been homeless ever a day in our life. I've always provided food and clothes on my children's backs. Um, and they have always been well taken care of, you know, um, we, I, my, none of my homes, none of my home or vehicles have never been repoed. Um, none of that crap has ever happened because I've always made sound financial decisions for me and my children. So, um, I mean, it's been, has it been easy? We've given up a lot of vacations. We've been, uh, I mean, well, we have went on vacations. We have went on vacations, but we've given up a lot of luxury things is what I'm trying to say. But I would much rather put food on the table, clothes on my ch children's back, a roof over their head, and stable, dependable, reliable things in their life than going on a luxury vacation and having no money. So it sounds like somebody else is doing that. So you go with your bad self. A Libra is getting a huge, huge wake-up call. Huge. Okay, I heard a Libra is getting a huge, huge wake-up call. So let me see if I hear anything else. Red roses, sunflowers, and daisies. Okay, I heard red roses, sunflowers, and daisies. So you plug that in, how that resonates, red roses, sunflowers, and daisies. So maybe one of you guys likes red roses, sunflowers, or daisies, or somebody you're connected to likes red route, roses, sunflowers, or daisies. However that resonates in your life, you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Love you guys. Namaste.